so Etsy, it's a, it's a marketplace for handmade and vintage goods. Uh, we have about 800,000 sellers in about 150 countries. Um, this is, sorry, I thought these slides were up here. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, OK. So this is a coffee bag bean bag chair. Uh, at any given time in the world, there are about 100 million 60 kilogram burlap sacks full of green coffee beans. And someone has started making overstuffed chairs of them. And it turns out this is an impossible thing to search for. Traditional recall techniques don't work for this. But what I do know is I have a statistical model that tells me that if you live more than 150 miles from Kilkenny, Ireland, where these are sold, you will not be buying these chairs. And we are starting to re-rank searching results based on this. And that is not at all what I'm going to be talking about today, because it turns out that stuff is really, really hard. It's statistical. We have scientists. We have two and a half years of data that we're crunching through. And actually, none of that's relevant, because we have this other sort of harder problem that we don't actually know where you live. And so we are, we are using ambient data to solve that problem. We have this, this site, this uh, form on the screen, which is, where do you live? And uh, this is actually an answer which has been told to us 47 times. Um, this does not geocode well. In fact, actually, where it geocodes to is Brooklyn, Alabama. If you say, no sleep till Brooklyn, we're going to assume that you live somewhere in southern Alabama. This is what we call the Brooklyn problem. So we were thinking about, OK, how do we solve this? You know, we can have a uh, drop down. We can use a better geocoder. And uh, this was my first solution, actually. And I thought this one worked pretty well. Um, and and uh, we actually deployed this, and it was working great. And then we got some complaints. Um, we had a, a popular seller that was, was being bit by this. And so we made a widget. We made a drop down. And, uh, and we thought, OK, so while we're making a drop down, uh, it turns out we actually know your IP address. And we have a pretty good sense, actually not that great of a sense. Uh, we have about a 70% accurate sense of where your IP address is in location to the world. So this is what happens right now if you go to the Etsy profile page and you start typing in Santa Clara, we'll assume you mean Santa Clara, California. Um, this is a better example. If you type in B, We'll assume because you are here, you mean Berkeley, California, Burlingame. Um, other sites might assume you meant Bogota, uh, Bacas, Badang, Indonesia. Um, similarly, Santa. And uh, San Jose is one of my favorites because you know I grew up here in, in the area. And I was always trying to fly in and out of San Jose. And it kept suggesting I fly out of Baja or Costa Rica. And so this is one of the things that bothered me and why we decided to solve this problem. So how did we solve it? Um, we solved it using solar a free data set, some bash scripts, an algorithm, and a guy who had been on the job for two days. Um, this is how you add geocoding to solar. You say, I want the solar lat long type. I'm also going fast, because I was told that we are short on time. Um, this is the entirety of the code that we wrote. This is uh, in PHP versus bash, because I'm even more embarrassed by my bash than I am by my PHP. Uh, we, we create a JSON blob, and we post it to a URL. And then we did the fancy part, a custom solar scoring function to re-rank results based on social geo relevance. I think that was the pitch I might have given Brady. And um, it looks something like this. Take the distance and divide it by the square root of the population. We tried dividing it by the population. We didn't like the results. We tried the longitude of the, you know, the, the logarithm of the population. We didn't like the results, so we tried squaring it. That worked pretty well. Um, this is how you do that. A custom Solar 3.1 install, and 3.1 actually has working geospatial extensions now. The, uh, the ones that have been before were kind of crap. Um, you just throw a sort in there, and now we have custom ranking. And we are, we are ranking in an e-commerce site based on population and distance. And, and it was you know, that. Um, oh my god, geosyntax, personalized geocoding. Everybody here, and for years, has been talking about context and personalization. And they're really, really important. And they're also really easy now. So you should be doing it. Um, that was it. I actually thought about just building this whole thing, like having a live text editor. And uh, I didn't. They talked me out of that. So quick teardown. Uh, Solar 3.0, working geospatial indexes, 2.6 million data points, 300 megabytes uh, is the index. You can run that on your iPhone, and it will go slow. You can run it on a decent server, and it will go fast. Uh, the data actually sucks, and it doesn't matter that much. Uh, we're seeing an 85% increase in data quality based on a free data set and a couple of days of work. So this is one of my favorite things in the data set. You can find this all over the web. Dot Weiling China. I don't know why there's a period in it, 
but there are about a million pages on the internet that we refer to dot whaling China now. So we, we script that. Um, there also was this problem that it said nobody lives in Brooklyn, New York, which was sort of the original problem we set out to try to solve. Um, so we just put in the population from Wikipedia. Um, so why aren't people doing this? Uh, it turns out a few people are. You see it on sort of high concept design sites. People sort of pull in the local weather or the, the light of the day. Um, and of course, Google does this. Google's really good at using your local data, but Google's always been good at this stuff, and that's kind of boring. Um, <laughs> and so um, I'm just saying you should do this. This is, this is a data set. These are tools which you could download. You could download them right now, and you could have this working by the time I get off stage. And uh, that's it. That's all I have to talk about. So I hope that was fast and, 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 and breezy. So.